We're on a nine-hour road trip to meet up with friends in Vermont for a weekend of skiing at Okemo. Since we're running a VRBO 35 minutes away from the slopes, we first need to make an important stop. It's the same amount of bacon. How much yeah. bacon? Yeah. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. <laughs> Okemo has an elevation of 3,344 feet with a vertical of 2,200 feet. It also has 121 trail slopes and glades. There's one high-speed six-pack chair, nine quads, one with a protective bubble with heated seats, two triples and seven surface lifts. Be sure though to buy your lift tickets a couple weeks prior to the trip because they can sell out. For me, I'll be starting with Open Slope and Lower Mountain Road. I need to get my ski legs. So basically what happens is blue flat, blue flat, blue flat. Uh, <laughs> we tried all those greens yeah. and I would not rate them a green. I can rate them a blue minus. I'm oh, really okay. sad about the um, blue was that okay? Easy Rider and Mountain Road because I was looking for uh, to those. Trying to attack the camera with your fork? Uh, stealing my soul. It is. I wanted to show you some of the things I carry every day when we go skiing. Now, this is my Patagonia 8 liter, Adam 8 liter bag. And this guy carries pretty much everything that I need while we're out and about skiing. So, I'll just show you the inside real quick. It's kind of dirty, so ignore that, please. Because, yeah, okay. Anyway, there's that right there. Okay, and it has a little side pocket here, which is very nice. Uh, to separate items. Uh, the front has a zip. You could slip a few little things into there. And the side strap here has another little zip. And now this is like great for SD cards or you know, your chapstick, whatever you need. All right, so inside of this bag goes my camera, which I'm filming on right now. So I carry uh, some lens cleaner. So I can kind of clean off the lens there. I can clean off my goggles, whatever else um, needs cleaning. I carry my hand lotion because I really hate dry hands. I carry my chapstick. This is just Burt's Bees chapstick. I've got my wallet with all my stuff in it. I have a hair tie because, you know, hair ties. Got some earbuds, AirPods. So these are the AirPods Pro. Got those. Got an extra SD card here. And I have this 
Cadence bottle. It's a tiny little compact bottle that you could put an assortment of things from creams to medication uh, to uh, toothpaste even if you want. So it's very, uh, you just unscrew it and I'll show you the depth of it. I don't even know if you can see that because it's dark, but anyway, it holds a lot and then we just pop it back in, close it up. And if you have a bunch of these, they are magnetic and they stick together. So I'll just leave a link below to show you what, uh, where you can get this. So then we've got my buff. We also have my turtle fur uh, because I might be really cold. I don't know if I'm gonna be really cold and I wanna be prepared. And the other nice thing about this is I kind of wrap it around the camera to keep it safe and also kind of do maybe a slight protection if I fall. Hopefully I don't because, you know, edges and stuff like that. So I also have my tripod, which I will carry with me sometimes. Uh, it just depends because the tripod is a little bit heavy. And I've also got my mic. All this goes in the bag and then I sling it across my shoulder. And when I ski, I don't even feel it. It just feels like a natural part of me. So the only thing I do is when I get on the lift, I just pull it in front of me. So it makes it easier to sit, in the, sit on the lift and be comfortable on the way up. So there you go. That's what I carry. So we were supposed to leave the house at 8.30 this morning. Yeah. Be on the slopes by 9.30. Mm -hmm. What is it, 11.30? Yeah, it's 11.30 now. <laughs> which is like the very first green. I did great yesterday on two runs uh, before lunch, but then the third and final run was like an hour and a half later and the snow was really icy and it just didn't feel good. And then my knee went south, so that wasn't as fun. So all the confidence I gained went away. So I'm back today trying to gain some more confidence. How are you feeling? Great, we saw you guys coming down earlier, but by the time we got down, you were back up. There are two waffles, one with chocolate, one without it, yeah. and a hot chocolate is in there too. All right. It's good and crunchy yeah, sugar. I don't think... When I feel like I'm getting it, I feel like I'm Tracy skiing with Bond on Peace Gloria in Her Majesty's Secret Service, the wind whipping through my hair as the music swells. It's a moment. Awesome. The weather was great, the sun was out, the snow was good, and I got to ski with everybody yeah, today. Peter, did you have a good day? I got a pretzel. Oh, That's what I love about a pretzel. We had a good day too, so it was very nice. We are staying in this lovely home. It's, I think it's got something like five bedrooms. I think it used to be a camp home and they've done some renovations and they've actually kept some original wood from the home, original decor. It's a very comfortable home and it's very, you know, just very cozy. And we like to rent a place rather than staying in a hotel because we're there nine of us and we like to gather, chat, and just hang out and not disturb anybody else. We had a great time during our trip. We skied for three days and it was fabulous. 
because I will say that uh, weekday skiing is the absolute best because Thursday, it wasn't that crowded. It was nice. It gave us a chance to acclimate. Friday, definitely a little bit more crowded as people were coming in and you know, Friday, let's take the day off. And Saturday was absolutely crazy. It was so packed. Some of the waits at the uh, lift lines were running 15 to 20 minutes. And but luckily the lift below only had like about a three to five minute wait. But overall, absolutely wonderful time. The whole point of the trip is to go out and have fun with our friends, hang out with them because they live all over the country, Boston, Chicago, San Francisco. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. But until next time, I hope you have a great time. All right, bye.